Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Good evening to all of you in YouTube land. Right now, the time is approximately 8 p.m. and let's say 8 minutes Eastern Time. And the date is Monday, September 20th, 2021. It is the night of the full moon in Pisces. Fun fact, whatever the full moon sign is, the sun, the transiting sun sign is always the polar opposite. So if it is, let's say, for example, a full moon in Aries, that means the sun is in Libra. If it is a full moon in Scorpio, that means the sun is in Taurus. So whatever the polar opposite, so whatever the full moon sign is, the polar opposite sign is the transiting sun sign. It is a very easy rule of thought. It's I, I will I've always found it easy to remember because I know that every sun, sign of the zodiac has its polar opposite. Now, I don't know about other astrological systems, but in the Western astrological system, you know, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, etc., every sign is a polar opposite. Isis, how lovely to hear you! And you know she did that hiss on purpose, right? <laughs> so yes, tonight is the night of the full moon in Pisces. I'm very excited about this full moon. Um, mainly because it is most representative of the energy of the goddess that I lovingly refer to as Imoja, but she is more commonly known as Yemaya. And recently I had the opportunity to participate in Mother House of the Goddesses and Red Priestesses um, altar offerings to Imoja and Oshun, which was earlier this month. In fact, it was actually um, last week, and, and I'm still feeling their beautiful, beneficent, bountiful energies. Mm. I'm drinking something I don't usually drink. It is a white tea. Um, and I believe the name of the company is Touch Organic. And um, to which I added the cranberry honey from Be Natural. Um, eventually, I will go to their main location, which is in Delaware. But uh, I happily go to their location um, in the Reading Terminal Market in Philadelphia. And yes, I did go when I went to Philadelphia earlier this month. I mean, earlier last month, last month, wishful thinking, I know. And I also added the squeeze of a lemon. Um, just, it's delicious. Anyway, so this is something that I used to do on a regular basis, and now I am going to start redoing on a regular basis again. Uh, thank you videos, and thank you emails, and thank you posts. I've been talking for years about the prospering power of gratitude, the prospering power of gratitude and praise, the healing power of gratitude and praise. And I want to tell you, I am so very beyond thankful to Cheryl, the living goddess who owns Notions and Potions, for making a home for me in her store. I am so very thankful to Anne Marie, her right-hand goddess, for being so wonderful. And I really do love Anne-Marie's energy. Anne-Marie's energy is very light. It's very fun. You know, she is she is the kind of, of woman that, like, is, she's going to make you laugh. She's either going to have a certain look on her face, she's either going to say something a certain way, she's going to talk about something, or she's going to do something very delightful. Um, when they first got in the flying wish paper, I would love seeing her demonstrate how to use it to customers in the store. And I only got to see it once because it seemed like every time somebody had expressed an interest in wanting to know more about the flying wish paper, I was conducting a reading. So the, the day that I actually got to witness and observe the, the demonstration made me so happy. It was, it was actually one thing that made my day, that day at Notions and Potions, even better and even brighter and even happier. So. I want to first thank Cheryl and also thank Notions and Potions. Of course, I must, must, must thank Shirley. Shirley is the owner of the Pandorica restaurant for taking excellent care of me. Um, I had very limited interaction with her crew this time around, uh, but I was very happy to spend time with Shirley and I was very happy to catch up with her and I had a fabulous meal um, Friday night. I actually had... Um, a Mediterranean antipasto. Now, aside from the fact that Mediterranean food is is very healthy for one, um, I've always loved Mediterranean food. You know, um, I think I've told the story about how when I was a little boy, I would only eat tomato or corn. 
and um, I wouldn't look at anything else. So I never looked at cucumbers, I never looked at uh, radicchio, I never looked at carrots, I never looked at asparagus because it wasn't tomato and it wasn't corn. Fortunately for me as an adult, my uh, taste palates have broadened considerably, especially with regards to fruits and vegetables. So I will tell you that I thoroughly enjoyed the Mediterranean antipasto. Um, and the stuffed grape leaves was a lovely touch. There was this hummus, there was a tzatziki sauce, which I live for tzatziki sauce, seriously. Mm. Cucumber and dill. Um, of course, I want to thank the wonderful staff at BJ's Soul Food, because they take excellent care of me, as always. And um, I want to thank Bank Square Coffee House. Now, Bank Square Coffee House, I've been going to more often since um, September of last year. And I will tell you that their dirty chai lattes are the best in the area. They are absolutely the best. I don't know what they put in it, <laughs> other than the usual ingredients, but I will tell you, their dirty chai latte is the only one I drink in Beacon now, especially on Main Street. It's like, I will not have a dirty chai latte anyplace else. But I will say Friday morning, um, before Notions and Potions open up, I went to Kitchen and Coffee. Kitchen and Coffee was wonderful, as usual. I've only been to Kitchen and Coffee a handful of times, but I will tell you that every time I go, I love the staff, the everybody is so professional, service with a smile is absolutely the, the norm at Kitchen and Coffee. Um, I had a different breakfast this time. I had an avocado toast, excuse me, K&C avocado toast, which they, uh, to which they added um, a golden turmeric spread they added uh, black sesame seeds, which I know what they look like because I've used them in cooking. I, they had alfalfa sprouts, which I hadn't eaten in the longest time. And of course, avocado. I've always loved avocado, and of course, I love guacamole. Haven't made homemade guacamole in too long. I need to rectify that soon. In the meantime, um, I especially want to thank all the clients who had sessions with me from last Friday, September 17th, through yesterday, September 19th, 2021. I was especially happy to have seen more people of color have readings with me in the store that made me super happy. And it was so funny because I think, if I remember correctly, my first three or four clients on a Friday were women of color. That made me super happy. And interestingly enough, I had brought with me uh, the melanated taro, which I hadn't used in the longest time. So I was super thrilled to have it at the ready and um, just made me so happy. I was really happy, especially on Sunday, because on Sunday I also conducted a first time reading. This person had never had a reading before. And I will tell you, when somebody has their very first reading with me, that is a huge honor for me. Um, and, of course, I conducted my very first crystal reading. Now, I have, just to give you an example, uh, this is the bowl that I have that is currently um, housing all the crystals that I recently cleansed. And, of course, I'm going to have Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person for my YouTube videos, do a close-up of the crystals in this bowl. So I had about half the number of crystals with me at Notions and Potions last weekend. And I will tell you that all of a sudden I was looking at some of the crystals to put around the table. And then all of a sudden they were like, you're gonna do a reading with crystals. I was like, ooh, okay. I had never done a reading with crystals before. So I was super excited about it. And I have a feeling that crystal readings are gonna become um, quite the norm at Notions and Potions. And I have a feeling that I'll be offering crystal readings um, virtually, by phone and by video as well. So I'm really, really excited about this. And, um, and, and it was just like, wow. And it was amazing to me how, how, you know, I'm always amazed at how my intuition works. I really am. So, so the fact that this client um, opted, for, was pulled a clear quartz crystal point um, in answering of her first question, I was like, okay, you can't make this stuff up. Now, for the record, I have been expressing gratitude and praise for almost 10 minutes. This is why if somebody invites me to their home for Thanksgiving, I always tell them, 
the answer is going to be long. And don't you want to eat the food hot? I mean, if you want me to tell you now for what I'm thankful, I'll tell you now. The food will be cold by the time I'm done. So, when it comes to gratitude and praise, I, I lovingly, lusciously, and lavishly express a great deal of it. And I do so with the utmost of joy and the utmost of peace. But, because I could express more gratitude and praise, and this video could be like two hours long, I'm going to cut it down here. I'm going to cut it close. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say we're going to get to the end right now. <laughs> but seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who made my weekend at Notions and Potions wonderful and prosperous and fun and exciting and insightful and open-hearted and open-minded. And of course, thank you to all of you who spread the word online and off. Thank you to those of you who uh, had readings with me, those of you who expressed an interest in goddess energy healing treatments, those of you who served me in some way, whether it was to go or to stay or to dine in or to take out. Thank you to those of you who also just do what you do with wondrousness and joy and the utmost of professionalism. And, of course, to those of you in YouTube land, thank you so much for honoring who I am and what I do, for honoring all of us at Notions and Potions and all we do, for honoring all of us at Catland Books and all we do, for those of you who continue to patronize the Pandorica Restaurant, BJ Soul Food, Bank Square Coffee House, and all of the one kitchen and coffee, and all of the wonderful places to eat and shop on Main Street in Beacon, New York. Um, and I especially want to thank those of you in YouTube land for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel, and of course those of you who scheduled your sessions, those of you who are going to be scheduling your sessions, and thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have been buying me a coffee. Good night, and stay tuned for the next video.